At the Direct Selling Association annual meeting in Orlando in 2017, President Joe Mariano talked quite a bit about bad actors. A bad actor is a direct selling company that is operating illegally, unethically, or both. So, how do you know if your business is a get-rich-quick pyramid scheme or a legal and ethical direct selling income opportunity? One way to find out is to thoughtfully evaluate your company using our Don't Do list. The things that you should not do are pay commissions on mandatory enrollment fees or PACs, pay commissions on starter kits that contain products while not offering at least one starter kit option that contains no products upon which no commissions will be paid. Describe your income opportunity as an investment or permit your independent representatives to do so. Have no products or services available for sale. Sell products or services that without a compensation plan have very little or no value. Before one can buy your products or services, one must first be a representative. Encourage customers to enroll as representatives to receive product discounts. Ignore cooling off laws. Have a non-existent or unfriendly refund policy or a refund policy that violates laws. Require a required purchase to be active to qualify for eligibility for any portion of your compensation plan. Have a mandatory authorship policy to get paid on any portion of your compensation plan. Require large inventory purchases. Make illegal income claims or permit your representatives to do so. Make illegal product claims or allow your representatives to make them. Ask yourself this, how do you score? Give yourself one point for every activity on that list that your company is doing. Scores greater than zero aren't good. Note your penalty point items as targets for immediate action. And for now, consider yourself a bad actor until you're not one anymore. Reducing pyramid scheme risks is imperative, but for a longer life, having a compensation plan that motivates and rewards the 12 behaviors is equally important. What does a good actor do, you ask? I'll tell you. Good actors refrain from the activities on my don't do list. Instead, they do other things. What do they do? They sell products or services that people will buy even if they're not making any money. They don't require their representatives to make personal purchases in order to qualify for compensation. They may require personal sales volume, but personal sales volume is not the same as personal purchases. It's important to understand that the lines today between good actors and bad actors, while blurry in the past, are firming up. They're becoming clearer. If you have any questions at all about anything in this video, let's talk. I look forward to speaking with you. I'm Jay at Sylvina Consulting.